Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a minute since I did my last video, but you guys, I, between work and I'm, like I said, I was dealing with my blood sugar again. So between those things, I um, you know, been busy. So the sugar is back under control, just like it went crazy and went up. He's going back down to normal again, so it's just. Like, well, I guess the doctor said they don't know why it happens. That it's just something that happens, and it's just something that happened. I, I like you know, cause I've been denying myself and denying myself and denying myself, and so I was like, if this was going to happen anyway, why do I have to keep denying myself? So I guess if I didn't, I would have it happen more frequently. But um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I've worked worked on that I have with me. Um. I've been making fingerless gloves. I made several pair, uh, two in purple, two in black, from this bush stitch pattern. And so these are made from the that yarn, that Norway yarn, uh, that I get from Baba's. Um, I don't have any out right now, but it's Norley's and it's made in Norway. But this is what was left over. It's just enough to do a um, pair of little hand warmers um like that so see, and this actually matches the, the yarn and the scarf the cow is the yarn it's not showing up true to color it's a lot more vibrant than this uh, so. mm. so I almost got my desk cleaned off again so that I can work on my Start drawing again. I don't know if this is gonna show it to you any better. That's a little bit better. So yeah, and this was their worsted weight um, yarn. So I had enough from two skeins to do this cow, this rib cow, and this crocheted uh, rib cow, and a pair of finesse gloves to match it. My first item that I made for myself in a very, very long time. So yeah, this sucker is very warm. It's 100% super wash wool. It's very very warm, but it's singles, so it's bulk. It's not bulk. It's worsted late singles. Uh, and like I said, I did four more pair of those gloves with that particular pattern, two in purple and two in black. Um, and actually, I did five because I did one in red as well. Um, for someone, the other thing I did was. This scarf and it's like a wine color. It's a lot. It's not that grayed out. So, so I did this scarf and it's using a shell stitch. So it's basically a shell, two double crochet shell stitch pattern. Very easy to do. Very pretty scarf. Um, yeah, it's, it's night, so the colors are gonna be a little off. It'll be off anyway during the daytime because you know my windows are curtains are from. So I finished that. And if you follow me on Instagram, you guys see all this stuff anyway. Um, the other thing I finished, but I got to weave in the ends, is a poncho that someone requested. So, it's in, um, this is the taupe, Red Heart the taupe color. This is Vanna's in that burnt orange. Um, and then you have two shades of Red Heart's green. No, actually, one of them is Red Heart, one of them is Caron. The sage is dark sage green color. That's Caron Simply Soft. And the Hunter Green, which is the body, the bottom part, that's Red Heart. But um, I just got to weave in these couple of ends, and, I, and it's done. And I did, like, the real neck for the poncho. got my jacket on. Let me see. I'll show you guys real quick. <sighs> if I can get it off. <laughs> And one of the things I made, I already gave to my daughter, so she has it in her room. So I'm going to put this stuff over here, out of the way. Alright. So that's that. So, as you can see, the poncho... There we go. So it comes down to about mid, well, 
past my waist. So she should be fine. She just wanted some. I guess she wanted something to keep her warm at work. And I think I'm a little bit more busty than she is. But there's no pattern to it. It's very easy. It's just uh, double crochets and shells. Like um, after you get the neck, the neck I think was like 120, no, 80 stitches for the neck. And then you start increasing, like, um, I would do like every 10, every 10 stitches, I would do an increase. And I did this using shells for a couple of rounds. Until I got, like, I don't know, maybe 180 stitches on the lead, on the thing. Like 180 stitches. And then that's when I went to 10 double crochet shell, 10 double crochet shell, and that was the pattern for the rest of the way through. It's very simple, very easy to do. You could do it if you just want to do straight up double crochets for the whole thing, go right ahead. But this is just double crochet, uh, this is just a crochet reel. So it's got weaving on ends, and I'll give that to her on Monday. And it actually, it looks kind of like a skirt. I mean, you could wear it, probably wear it like a skirt too. But yeah, it's very simple, very easy to do. You don't need a pattern to do it. It's just basic crochet stitches. So I finished that today. I started on Thursday and I finished it today. Um, the other thing I did was when they had that sale on all those Teen Spirit, um, what's that stuff called? Sachet yarn. I got several of those. So this is like the Green Bay one. And then you got the Stillers. Uh, got two. Well, one of the Dallas Cowboy ones is a birthday present for somebody. And you got a Lakers. And then the other Dallas Cowboy one that's a birthday present. So, yeah. So, so this is what I've been working on. Um, as far as crocheting, knitting, I have a cast on. For the comfort food pile, I'm on row two, but I cast on for that. Let me see if I can find information for you guys. It is um, by Irish Girly Knits, the comfort food cow. You can find that pattern on Ravelry. Uh, I thought about this pattern through Moms with Yarns podcast, and and so yeah, I really like the way it look, and it look it looks like it works up fast. It has charts as well as the written pattern, and I'm following the chart because the chart is easy, and it has um charts for the cow, and it's also for the fingerless gloves to match the cow. So yeah, so. So I cast on for that. Uh, Michaels has been having a really good sale on impeccable yarns. Um, today was the last day for the sale. They had a lot of the impeccable yarns on sale for fifty percent off. Um, so I went there today because it was the last day and the first opportunity that I had to go. So I'll show you guys what I got. So, because Freddie wants a brown scarf, so even I got one of these. It was on sale for half off, so one of the big ones, so I can make Freddie his scarf. And and then I got two skeins of this Roven yarn. It's 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 a line brand. It's not my own, but it was on sale too. I use my coupon on those. They're a regular price. But I've always wanted to get some of this stuff. Because I felt like it was such a waste of them trying to sell this stuff like it's a super bulky. Really, is Rover. I'm going to spin this. So I'm taking that thread that's wrapped around it off. So that's what I was doing in the car on the way home. Is um, taking this, this thread off so that I can spin this Rover. This looks like... Um, What's the colonial wool, but this is acrylic, but it looks like the colonial wool. I'm pretty sure it's acrylic. Let me see. 
Yeah, no, it's seventy four percent of credit and two yeah, seventy four percent of credit, twenty two percent wool, and four percent of the fiber. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna spin it. <laughs> it's perfectly fine, roving. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just gonna spin it. <laughs> so yeah, so I got two of those. Just gotta take these threads off of them and then it'll be ready to to spin. Um, then I have, let me put this back in the bag, I hope I get tangled up. <clears throat> oh, the cat get it. Then I got the big one of the Earth ombre this is like one of my favorite impeccable colorways so they only had one left on the racks and then when I, they have like these bins up under that you could pull them out and restock the shelves so I pulled the bins from that area out and I didn't see any more of this down there either so uh, I went ahead and got this one it's 582 yards um this big ones the, the biggies um the big impeccable big impeccable grande impeccable grand so I got that one because it was the last one in the store. And then I saw this. It is the, uh, it's 100% acrylic. It is 268 yards. I should have got two of them. And it's, um, colorway is gold or oro. Gold or oro. And uh, that's kind of pretty much the color. But it was real pretty. So I got one of those. It has this pattern up there for this bumpy cow, but the cow is ugly to me. I ain't gonna use no hair on it. And so I got that. And then I got these to do my last purchase right here. And these are for a pair of mittens. The person wanted mittens in gold, blues, and greens. This has gold, blues, pinks, purples, and greens in it. It's a lot more vibrant than what's showing up. But um, it's one for each mitten. And um, I figure she's a dirty girl. She'll like it. If not, whatever. Yeah. I just have to put those the greens. So that's what I did today. I went to Yarn for Breakfast today. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw the pictures I posted from Yarn for Breakfast. Um, and that's pretty much what I've done the last couple of days, weeks. Oh, also, Praxis, also known as Remy. I got my seeds. He did, he did up the seeds swap, so I got my seeds for this year. I'm so excited for next year. Well, this spring. So, so I got to add this to my seed pile. Um, all of my single skeins of yard from uh, Windswept Farms, like I have like Jenna would give me like, you know, little bits and pieces that were left over from runs of the alpaca and the wool. Um, so I had like some colors and I took them all down from out of the bookcase back there so that I could take, I'm a, I'm a um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm use the ball winder on all of these and ball all these up into center pool balls. Most of them there's enough to do a hat. Like this is, um, Merino Sport 2 ply 250 yards. So it's brown. So brown. I forgot to see it. But it's enough. Each of these is enough. Has enough in it to do a hat. But if there's not enough to do a hat, then you can kind of combine them. See, like, like you got this orange, but this orange will look good with that brown, the two tone brown. So it's. I got like several of those, and so this is real pretty though. This is like a mauvish, it's 7% of Paca and 30% Merino. The color is called coffee, but it's like a very light coffee. So it's more of a mauve than a coffee. It ain't coffee. So, yeah. So I have about 15 skeins of just one-offs. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be ball winding all those up to use in hat projects and stuff. So part of my 
this is my year to do stuff for me. Um, like, you know, this Kyle and Fingers gloves, the first things I made for myself in a while. So, so I'm going to be using those to make things for me, accessories for me, hats and cows and fingers gloves. You know, there's some projects that I want to do, do, um, some patterns that I've purchased that, kept, that don't use a lot of yarn that I can use those for as well. Um, so yeah, that is my goal anyway, to work on that stuff. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go. That's all I have. I know it's a short video. I don't feel like ranting about nothing today, so y'all should be glad about that. <laughs> uh, I've already put in my vacation time for Maryland Sheep and Wool for this year. So that's already on the books and has been approved by my supervisor. So I'm hoping that, that things will be good and that I'll, I'll get a chance to go to Ryan Beck this year as well. So I'll just keep your fingers crossed on that for me. Um... That's pretty much it. Um, just trying to stay warm. That's what I'm doing. Trying to stay warm. Um, and uh, yeah. So you guys take care. <laughs>